Mr. Pritchard, I presume. Hi, I'm Chen Ping. Pleased to meet you. I'll be your guide on the facility tour. Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your tour. Yes, so sorry about your flight. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? No, I wasn't in- So, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. But I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P-41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and find me. I'll be waiting by the stairs in the back of the restaurant kitchen. The VIP has access through the kitchen. I'll be waiting for him in the back. Understood. Hey, hurry up. The man is starving. Yes, I'll see to it. that room. Hello, Mr. Pritchard. I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chanting here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P-41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect, and I would appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Good job. Oh, you got new menus. I had no idea. Uh, do you still have the... Sorry, what? Right, yeah. Uh, just some... in his room. Any clues in there? Do you think 
Is it more garlic meat? It's a bit scammy. I don't know. It tastes exactly the same as Poland. No, oh, I'm not going to focus by the kitchen. We went straight to the restaurant. Find your inner self. Close your eyes I'll be and focus your mind on a discretion bonus yeah. on the paycheck. I'll keep you up That's what I do. That is a calming bonus. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes, I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have, without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the restaurant is in fact a front that let all ICO personnel arrive unseen. Who notices a dumpling cook on his way to work? Dressing the part takes you a long way. ICA guarantees absolute discretion to all clients. We take that promise very seriously, as you will see on all steps of the tour. Let Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that. At first shift, city construction will move in. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring You can hack that panel with your camera, 47. But we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Please give me your P41, Mr. Pritchard, so we can get things rolling. Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. It'll just be a few moments, so feel free to have a look around. I'll meet you on the other side of the frisk. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. There's no way you're getting through that door, 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it.
Here's the B41. Please start the authentication process for top security clearance and engage the zero protocol. Never caught anything in the frisk, ever. I suppose that's why they're there. Preventative measures. Yeah, you gotta keep security tight. It's just how I like it. Did I tell you I got picked for that training course next week? If I pass, I'll get a bonus. Congrats! You're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room until your security clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. That window can be dimmed if you hack it with your camera. Get you some privacy. Access granted. Good, I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. Perfect timing. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. Let's step inside. I'm thinking about getting some of those so, as you to, see, to we are very serious what? about security. Like the, the ones what we protect people. is, after all, no, no, core to all ICA operations. We and we alone store all legal work, contracts, target sure. profiles, employee files, contract well, documentation, and validation, and so forth. Too. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operators. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task, and on top- Oh, good. Hi. There she is. That's Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, apparently. Hi, Imogen Royce. Nothing wrong with I've her look, though. To meeting you. Edgy. Likewise. Uh, 
After you. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards, and a chosen few of the engineers. I'm the most likely person to meet in here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily call maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the call room. The doors to the call room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cunning to the chase, I see. Knowledge. is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sick sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss. Low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers. And my results are astounding. All this state-of-the-art is nothing but heavy old-fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files, dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario, but what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little hey demonstration there. for you. Oh. Three Sorry. employees I unaware that else. I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt. The guard in the lower left is as tough as nails. When on duty, but in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds, bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the core room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term God complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right.
Don't mind me, sir. I'll be escorting- I'm ready to see Royce now. I'll let her know. Don't mind me, sir. I'll be escorting you around. Procedure. The VIP is ready to see you. You don't have clearance Access to open denied. this door. Both targets down, good. Just give me a second, and I'm in. You can now access the core 47. Security protocol you overruled. You'll come out. I'm losing my job. Come on. Where are you?
You're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows, 47. No need to worry about intruders. Here. Clients, operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first, you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. two of you go way back. I didn't realize that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. Okay, good. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Shit! I missed that. We're blown, 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the vents to get out. Go! Now! All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Warning. Core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning. Fire detected.
detected. What's that command? Okay, continuing search. That was tense, 47. shell causing shockwaves across the world, the so-called ICA files, the disclosure of a... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know, most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered. He is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. something. 
Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates & Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. 